Good day everyone! It's me again, your science teacher for today. I'm Teacher Andres. In the previous video lesson, you have learned about biodiversity. Today, you will be learning how to compute or measure the index of diversity. In this video lesson, we will focus on the given learning competency which focuses on relate species extinction to the failure of population of organisms to adapt to abrupt changes in the environment. Our second video lesson for this learning competency is all about index of diversity. With this video lesson, we have the following specific targets. First, explain index of diversity. Differentiate high from low index of diversity. Calculate index of diversity. And lastly, appreciate the importance of a balanced environment in the survival of the organism. Are you ready class? To start our video lesson properly, Please prepare your pen and science notebook. Remember, you are expected to write your answers in every question or activity in this video lesson. And take note, your science teacher will collect your output for this video lesson and evaluate your answers. So let's start class. To check your prior knowledge about this lesson, let us start with the first task that try this for the direction answer the following questions by writing the letter of the correct answer number one which figure has the higher species richness figure a or figure b Number two, which figure is the most diverse? Figure A or figure B? Number three, why do population sizes vary among organisms? A, they change with the number of births when they move into an ecosystem. B, there are limiting factors that keep population sizes vary among organisms. C. It has something to do with the carrying capacity of the environment. Or D. All of this. Number 4. What is index of diversity? A. It is a measurement of the population in an area. B. It means that there is a great variety of species in an ecosystem. C. It describes an ecosystem that does not have so many forms of life. Or D. It is a quantitative measure that reflects how many different species there are in a community. Number 5. How important is the balanced environment for the survival of organism A. It leads to the continuous existence of the organism B. It ensures that each organism thrive and multiply as expected C. It helps species to survive because of favorable ecosystems were created or D. All of this Good job class! You have finished the first task of this video lesson. Now, take time to process the information you acquired by accomplishing the second task. But before we proceed, kindly put this in your mind.
Index of Diversity, also known as Simpson's Diversity Index, is a quantitative measure that reflects how many different types, such as species, there are in a database or a community. Scientists use a formula called Index of Diversity to describe the amount of species diversity in a given area. A simple biodiversity index is calculated as follows. Index of diversity equals number of species times number of runs divided by number of trees. Now class, let's proceed on the second task of this video lesson. For the direction, identify if the following ecosystems show a high or low index of diversity. Copy the shape and color that corresponds to your chosen answer. The following is the legend. High index of diversity has a shape of square with a color green, while low index of diversity has a shape of circle with a red color. Let's start class! Number 1 Number 2 Number four. Good job class, you have finished the second task of this video lesson. I hope you have learned something about the previous tasks. Before we continue with the next activities, kindly keep this in your mind. Communities with many different species, a high index of diversity, will be able to withstand environmental changes better than communities with only a few species or low index of diversity. At this time class, we are now on our third task, the Explore. In this task, you are going to perform an activity. Follow the given procedure. Let's start class. For the direction, perform the given activity. Complete the data table and answer the following questions. Index of diversity. For the procedures. Number one. This is an outdoor activity. Find a place or an area where you can see different kinds of species. Record the number of different species or trees present in the area. It is not necessary to know their names. Just make sure that they differ by species. Record this number in your data table. The following is an example of the data table. For the number of species, number of runs, and number of trees. 
This time, make a list of the trees by assigning each a number as you walk by it. Place an X under tree 1 on your list. If tree 2 is the same species as tree 1, mark another X under tree 1. Continue to mark an X under the trees as long as the species is the same as the previous one. When a different species is observed, mark an O under the tree on your list. Continue to mark an O if the next tree is the same species as the previous. If the next tree is different, mark an X. Record in your data table. Take note, the number of runs. Runs are represented by a group of similar symbols in a row. Example, 4 X's, 2 O's, 1 X, 1 O would be 4 runs. Why? The 4 X's represents 1 run. The following 2 O's represents 1 run. The single X represented again by 1 run and the last O is also 1 run. Therefore, this sample has 4 runs. The total number of trees counted. Calculate the index of diversity using the given formula. The following are the questions in which you are going to answer. 1. Compare how your tree index of diversity would be different in a vacant lot than that in a grass lawn. Explain your answer. Number 2. If humans were concerned about biological diversity, would it be best to have a low or high index of diversity for a particular environment? Explain your answer. Good job again, class! You have finished the third task of this video lesson. I hope that you were able to answer all the questions of the activity. So, to give you a better understanding about index of diversity, kindly read and understand the following key points. Keep this in mind. Communities with many different species, a high index of diversity, will be able to withstand environmental changes better than communities with only a few species or a low index of diversity. In a balanced ecosystem, organisms need a balanced environment. Population sizes vary among organisms. They change with the number of birds, and when they move into an ecosystem, they also change when members die or move out of an ecosystem. Limiting factors are environmental conditions that keep a population from increasing in size and help balance ecosystems. At this moment class, let's perform again another activity on apply what you have learned. For test A direction, the following statement shows the different number of species. Compute for the index of diversity. Number 1. Backyard A contains 12 fleas, 34 apids, 84 ants, 93 beetles, and 1 butterfly. For number 2. Backyard B contains 34 fleas, 93 apids, 12 ants, 64 beetles, 2 butterfly, and 1 bird. For test B, answer the following questions. Distinguish the difference in diversity between two locations given above, based from backyard A and backyard B. For number 2, Explain what may lead to those differences. 
Hooray! You have finished the task on apply what you have learned. Make sure class that you have answered all the questions on this task. Following is your reflection. At this time, you are going to complete the following statements as your reflection. I have learned that I wish to ask my teacher about I hope you are able to complete these statements. At this moment, we will proceed on the reinforcement in which you are going to explain the given question. How is conservation related to biodiversity? For the word bank, the following are the terms used in this video lesson. Species richness the number of different species represented in an ecological community or the relative abundance of species in a community. Population size refers to the number of individual organisms in a population and balanced environment. The equilibrium between and harmonious coexistence of organisms and their environment. Class We've come now to the last task of this video lesson. On this task, you are going to assess all the learnings you acquired from this video lesson. For the direction, write the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Which figure has the higher species richness? Figure A or figure B? Which figure is the most diverse? Figure A or figure B? Number 3. Why do population sizes vary among organisms? A. They change with the number of birds when they move into an ecosystem? B. There are limiting factors that keep population sizes vary among organisms. C. It has something to do with the carrying capacity of the environment. Or D. All of this. Number 4. What is index of diversity? It is a measurement of the population in an area. B. It means that there is a great variety of species in an ecosystem. C. It describes an ecosystem that does not have many forms of life. D. It is a quantitative measure that reflects how many different species there are in a community. How important is the balanced environment for the survival of organism? A. It leads to the continuous existence of the organisms. B. It ensures that each organism thrive and multiply as expected. C. It helps species to survive because of favorable ecosystems recreated. Or D. All of this.
Thank you for watching. See you again in our next video lesson. So stay tuned. Goodbye.